Welcome to All About Kino, and we are going to talk about four card Kino. And what we're going to do is show you a starting pattern. So if you're a brand new Kino player and you don't know what to do, these tricks will help you get warmed up and into the game and understand how it works. Four card Kino, four different cards. There's card A, B, C, and D. And each one can have a different number pattern on them. This way you can play four games at one time, or if you have four different numbers, you're able to put them out, watch them play, see the patterns on the screen, and decide if those are the numbers you want to continue playing throughout your Kino game. To set it up, I started with a two numbers on card A, three numbers on card B, four numbers on card C, and five numbers on card D, and I did that as a demonstration. I hit the button before we started the video, and the first two numbers did come out, one and two, and two out of two on a two coin bet, because there's uh, four cards to each for eight coins bet, paid back 30 coins. So we bet 20 cents and we got $3 back on the one, two pattern. For the one, two, three, we got four coins back and the one, two, three, four, we got four coins back because we hit enough for them to pay. So on this specific game where we bet 80 cents, we ended up getting $3 and 80 cents back. That's the first play. Let's go to the next play. So on this one, there is no winner. On the A card, we got one of two, doesn't pay, you have to hit two of two for 30 on a two, coin, uh, two number card. On a three number card, if we hit two, we get four back, if we hit three, we get 86 back. On the four number card, and this is with two coins bet, four back, 10 back, or 154 back. And then the big card here with five, you get six coins back with three out of five, 24 coins back, four out of five, if you get all five out of five, it's a $150 jackpot on this machine with 10 cent coins. So you get 1,500 coins back. So we'll go back to the full screen here. You can watch it again. We'll play a few of these. Then I'll show you how to bet. So we're playing 80 cents per time. This will be my fifth play. And we had won $3.80 on that one play. So we're down at this point a few. But here we go. We hit two. If we hit the third one there. So we didn't hit the one, two. And we didn't hit the one, two, three. But we hit two of three, two of four, and three of five. So on the eight coin bet here, we got 14 coins back. Do it again. Notice how they're all dancing around there. They're hitting those numbers on the different patterns, the way that they come out, the machine will give you indications of what type of patterns it wants to hit. So we hit the one again. So on this one we just hit two out of four. We've got four coins back on our eight coin bet. Similar to what we hit last time, we got the three of five, two of four, and two of three for 14 coins back. There we go, gonna hit them all, hit them all, hit them all. There's an example of the first three out the gate and you're like, oh, I'm gonna win and then it doesn't hit anything else. But what we did get was two of three, three of four and three of five. So 20 coins back, so $2 back on our 80 cent bet. Pretty exciting stuff there because we almost hit the big one, but it stopped. On this one, we hit two of the four and three of the five for 10 back on our 80 cent bet. So we're up 20 cents on that play. And long term, if you add 20 cents every time you play, you'll make some good money. Here we go again, we got our money back because we got a two of three and a two of four. So we broke even on that one. So this is a beginner pattern, it's a safety pattern. It's one that you only need two numbers to either break even or make money depending on where they land. And then the more numbers you hit, the better you do. If you hit no numbers, of course, you lose it all and you go on to the next game. Got half our bet back there with the, the split two that hit, so we've got the two out of that first four. We'll do three more on this one, and then we're gonna change the pattern for you. The first one and last one, that's only hitting the, car, the D card, which has five numbers, so two of five does not pay. Two of five does not pay. 
Same numbers, back to back. Okay, so that's a simple pattern. We're gonna do another simple pattern. This is a safe pattern that I use all the time. You take the A card and you put four in the corner. With the B card, we're going to overlay it. Same thing with the C card, we're gonna overlay it. And the D card, we will overlay it. Now what this does is when you look at it, you've got the entire box here covered, four, 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 and four. And to break even on this game, all you have to do is hit two numbers, the center one and one of these in the plus sign. Then you'll break even. If you end up hitting anything additional, there's a chance you'll make some money up to a $15.40 jackpot if you hit the four, any one of those quads on there. You can hit multiple quads as well. If you hit all these here, you're gonna end up making a little bit of money. If you So well, let's play a few, uh, play through a few here and see what it looks like. But you wanna hit the middle one and something else if you can. So those two numbers, that's on the A card, you get four back. So on all, all of these cards, two of four is four back, three of four is 10 back, and four of four is 154 back. So we'll keep playing. Nothing on that one, but notice the three there, a couple there. The machine likes to come out in those little paths. Here we go, hit the middle now, watch what happens. Right now, hit it. Oh. So if we would have hit the middle, we would have had both quads. The machine came out, gave us three of a kind, three of a kind. So we got 20 back on our eight coin bet. Oh, go back there. Did not want to do that. I don't know why it changed like that for us, but it did. But here we are. We're back. Okay. Got to be careful what I hit there. I apologize. So anyway, on the pattern there, we hit three of four, three of four. It has kind of an askew six box there. Uh, machines will do that to trick you and play with you and use their algorithms to uh, mess with your mind a little bit. Let's keep going here. We started with just a little over $150 in the machine, so we'll keep an eye on how we do. There's two. So on this one, two on the A card, the one on the B card doesn't match anything else, so there's no pay on it. Two on the D card, get a half our bet back. There we go, hit this one. Nope. So we have three of four on the B and two on the A, so 14 back on an eight coin bet. Again, it's not one you're gonna get rich on, but it's a great training. Here we go again, three, two, and two. So that one's 18 back. Made a dollar profit on that one. Try to hit the center, if you can. Notice this box here, they, they show up all the time. You just gotta get lucky and lay them over where your numbers are. Hit the center. Center is the key to really getting payouts. You gotta hit that center number and then anything else. Couple. Here we go, hit them all. Couple coins back. You're collecting points at the casino to get status. This is a great way to run up points and not lose a lot of money and you can win some money along the way. It's also a great way to practice playing Keno. Right in the middle, we'll have three or four winners. Nope, a little bit off, but you got two on the C card and two on the D card, so we broke even. Right in the middle, you got a couple winners. Didn't hit. You can play variations of this as well. I just have fun with this one. Uh, when I play, play at places like the Silver Sevens or the Tuscany or the different casinos in Vegas, I'm there for the long haul. I would play this game like this and just use it to build up a little purse of money that then I can go out and do the crazy stuff with. Also gets me the points for the comps, the comp stays, anything else. There we go, we broke even with just two numbers there. Uh, free food, whatever the free gaming, whatever the casinos offer you, this is a nice way to build up numbers. Come on, man. let's hit four of a kind. We'll do five more. During session gaming, oh, hit it the middle, no? Session gaming is you want to set yourself a limit on number of plays or the amount of money that you're going to gamble. 
Uh, some of our videos will start with $20, and the challenge is to play the same numbers for that full 20. Sometimes it's 100, sometimes it's nickels, sometimes it's quarters, but set yourself a standard, otherwise you get in the habit of, oh, just one more 20, just one more 20, which if you watch Cash or Crash, Kino and Slots, you'll see tons of that as we get emotionally attached to a game. And then have the uh, courage to shut her down when you have to. You're breaking even. But if, if it's paying on a pattern, there's no reason to stop it. Middle would be great. Oh, look at that. So again, three if we kind, or three, on, three out of four, two out of four. It's a money maker. So pay no attention to everything I just said there. So we're gonna go into here, we're gonna go to the quarters, go to the same game, and we're gonna play it now. And what you'll find on here is that the pay patterns are a little bit different. One quarter, so we were betting 20 cents before, now we're gonna bet 25 cents. So you get 85 coins back. So 85 quarters is a lot more than, what was it, 1540. Uh, so you're looking at 2250, versus 1540 on your payback on that extra nickel by playing the quarter denomination because there's a different pay pattern. There we go. Two back. You don't get as many coins this way, but you get more money. I'll try to hit a four, four box there for you. Looking at all the different patterns that are paying. Hit the middle. Break even. There's the middle. Now, anything else? Another way to do the four, you can do four over four, is uh, go to A, go this way, down like that, four that way, and four this way. So it's a little different pattern, but again, if you hit two in the right places, you get your money back. There we got three of four for five payback, or dollar twenty-five back. The other one was paying back on a three of four, it was paying back a dollar. So here we're betting a little bit more than the other one. Then we're betting eighty cents on the other game with the ten cents. Look at that box. Here we're betting a dollar. Come on, hit it right here. Just about it. So it's dancing on the B card right now, which we like. A little bit back each time. Any other number? There we go. Some money back. Keep going. Another four pattern that I like. So take the A card, first four, the B card is the next four, C card is the next four, and the D card is the next four. So you're laying four on top of each other up top, just moving one space over each time. Here, if you hit a couple in the middle, you hit all the cards. Three of the four paid right there. Six box, we got some sixes coming out. Two numbers get paid back, your bet. Right in the middle, every card was hit there. Another four pattern to play is if you're not feeling the love with the stacking on top of each other, is play the corners. Or in the corner. It's not that expensive to play. It's fun. Now you're spread out. Take a chance on hitting the corners. That box right there. C. Let's go. Three of five on the C and two of, or three, three of four and two of four. A little bit back each time. There. 
break even on that one. And it's hitting at least one number in some of the boxes right now, which means the machine's not avoiding the numbers altogether that you picked. Hasn't paid anything big yet, but we're getting some coins back each time. Three early. Again, three of five, four and two of four. Seven back for four coins bet on those. Three different with two each. Let's break even. We'll do three more of these. We'll try another one in the center. Come on, let's get a four of a kind. Last one of this pattern. Okay, four doesn't pay a lot, but it's fun to play because you can get some hits each time. I'm going to do a picture frame now. And on this one, all the corners touch, so you have a chance of doubling your pay. So here, just hit this one. So if we would have moved up, those numbers probably wouldn't have hit. So you can't sit there and go, oh, I picked the wrong numbers. The machine wanted to give us seven and quarters back for the four. We bet on that one, and that's what we got. Get there, get... If you get a corner, you're playing both lines. You double pay, so you break even if you get lucky. There we go, there it is, four of a kind, off the top. So on that picture frame, almost $25, uh, $23.50 is what we got back on that play for a dollar bet. You got the four there, the three there, the two there, and the two there. So this is one of my favorite patterns because it pays. You're not gonna get rich and retire, but it pays. We'll play uh, three more now. And once it hits a jackpot, I like to move on because the chances of that exact thing hitting again are slim. These could hit, but for our purposes here for education, we'll just do a few more backup spins here. All right, avoiding it like the plague. Okay, now we're gonna do two, two, two and two, two and two, and we're kind of stacking again, but we're doing a different pattern here in the bottom left corner. It's just another way to play the four numbers on four cards. Get the right numbers and you do well. And there you hit, because you're spacing them. You got two there and two there. Pays back your money. Keep playing. Any other number there? No. Come on, Kino machine. The four pattern is fun for me. There we go. Four again. Four of four. So 92 quarters back. This time we got $23 back. So we're building our stake up again. It's not a lot of money. We're not gonna get retired. We're not gonna do a hand pay. But now we got money back. We're back almost to where we started. We've had a lot of fun playing. We've got our money back and we're gonna keep going. We'll do our three backup spins here. Our pushes, plays. There, do it again. Almost. We'll do one more. Come on, gonna be fantastic. Here's some other four patterns I'll play for you. And I like the four just because it's giving me money. You do the corners. Oop. Make sure I didn't do that already. I did. Okay, the A will be that one. All right, the B will be the next ones. And then the C will be the next ones. So now the pattern should be, you got both sides covered. Now you wanna go back and forth. Two on each side.
you're a beginning keno player, this is a great way to get warmed up to learn the game, learn the different ways that the machine works. This is our four number strategy video. We did the two, three, four, five earlier. Oh, look at that, four out of four again. Another 85 quarters. Our $150 is now $164. Three backup spins. Do one more and maybe one more. Maybe one more if we hit this one. Look at that box down there. Another six. There's an eight. It's yelling, please play sixes. Another four pattern, okay? You're gonna have as much fun as you want with the fours. Do it however you want to do it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Put a C, do a four there in the middle, and a D over the top. Actually, you can do it like that, so they're next to each other. Symmetry, I love symmetry, I don't know why. Okay, got three out of five on two different cards there. Three out of four. I keep saying three out of five because I see the five coins. Three out of four. Get some money back each time on a four. And don't be afraid to abandon the patterns if they're not paying for you. Stay as long as you want, but look at box of four, box of four. It's not hitting our numbers, but they're coming out. The machine is spitting them out. And that's why we're playing some of the boxes here. Okay, let's do icicles or stalactites or stalagmites. I'm not sure which ones they are. A, B from the ceiling, falling down from the ceiling. These are the Christmas lights or icicles, or whatever you want to call them. So we're playing the top row, coming down from the ceiling. You only need two to get paid. So you break even on that one specific card with the hitting two. You hit the three, you get a lot of extra money. And of course the four rate on this machine pays 85. Some machines pay up to 100 coins back on that four out of four. So you want to look around and find the best machine for you. Getting real close. We got a box of four there. Come on, A. Look at that, did it again. Another four out of four, another 85 coins, more winning. I don't have the tenant coming over and doing the hand pay, and I don't have the dee 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 -de song going on, and I don't have the balloons, and I don't have a tax burden. What I do have is about a $24 profit, and we've been playing, let me check the time on this, we've been playing for almost 20 plus minutes, having fun, and we are up. We got enough money for, oh, do it again, do it again, right back to back. And we broke even on our backup pushes here. We'll do one more. I'll show you one more four pattern. All right. You can do any four pattern you want. These are just the ones that I like playing. Four. Four. Oh, get back in there. Four, and I bet you guessed where the D is going to go. Right over there. Again, we're back on the edges. Psychologically, it makes sense because the numbers bunch up on the edges. Whether that's true or not, don't know, but we've been hitting them. Notice those stair steps. So this video will be titled, How to Play Four of a Kind Kino. So four numbers on four card Kino, trying to hit four out of four, and we've hit it four times. Almost the fifth time there, I almost messed up the entire theme of the video. But we'll take that, we'll take that other victory. Did you notice those four up there? That was our earlier pattern where we stacked on top of each other, that one just hit. But I don't have the patience to sit around and wait, so we're doing the demonstration stuff, moving it around. Four out 
out of four. How about that? We're up to $189 now. Making money, playing Keno, having fun. Three backups. If you're a novice Keno player, a first time Keno player, I've uh, been doing it for a little bit, have no idea how to play Keno, please look at this video. Three out of five. Learn how to play safely. We're not gambling a lot of money. It's $1 per play right now with four one or four cards, one quarter each, or the previous one on the dimes was two dimes each or 20 cents. Uh, this machine is set up if we went to nickels right now, which we will, it'll be three nickels per card, or on this one, that's 15 times four cards or 60 cents a play. It's a little bit cheaper. And we're gonna do different fours here. We're gonna do one, two, three, four. We do one, two, three, four. One, two, three, oop, get over there, do it right. And one, two, three, four. So it's a little different. This one will pay 204 nickels back or $10 and 20 cents if we get four out of four on a 15 cent bet. The idea behind this game is that they, they do these curvatures. So if this was there, that would have hit one of them. So if this was there, you get some coins back. If you hit the middle ones, you're on top of each other. Chance to make some money back, so here we go. Just, just do it. This is a cheaper way to play. You're not gonna win as much, you're not gonna lose as much. So instead of winning $22.50 on a 25 cent bet, you're gonna win the $10 or whatever we talked about on a 15 cent bet. So for this machine, the quarter play is the best play, but we're doing this as a demonstration for you. Also on this, oh, there's five across the top. We would hit all of our numbers had we been there or had we been there, those numbers wouldn't hit. On here, if you wanted to, play one coin each. So now you're 20 cents in, and this is recreational Kino. Three out, of, three out of four, two out of four. So here, I'm betting 20 cents a time. I'm having fun, getting my free uh, beverage service, building up my points, making Kino friends. Kino friends that don't tell you to turn down your volume. Cash or Crash Kino and Slots, main channel, all about Kino. This video will be available on both sites. We're launching the All About Kino channel to do instructional videos, uh, but this one being as much fun as it's been, we're gonna put it on the Cash or Crash site as well. So we're gonna play a little bit more here. Then I'm gonna show you what I do at the end of a good session. There we go, hit it. Come on, baby. Boxes of four. Okay, so now because we've made some money, we're gonna go back to the four card Kino. We're gonna play a little bit crazy. We're gonna go for nines and tens and eights and sevens because we've made some money. We're up $30 right now. And I'm gonna do stealth pattern, that's a seven. I'm gonna do the block of gold or brick of gold. I'm gonna do the around the corner. Oop. I'm gonna do the nine spot right here. Go back to my around the corner because I want to do 10 spot. That's actually the large, the B2 stealth bomber pattern thing. Make up your own name. It is what it is. There we go. So we're stacked on top of each other. And oh, seven of 10. Quarters. Look at that. Playing with house money can play stupid. This time it paid off. Look at that, we're up to 215, we're up $65 now in the session. Having fun. Play a few more. It's fun to win. It's not as much fun to lose, so you gotta find a way to find entertainment value out of what you're doing here. Look at that, there's a stealth going that way. Lots of numbers, no real winning. Come on, baby. Do a few more and I'm gonna change them up again. We got a whole area of emptiness down here. I like to move the numbers there. So we're gonna do a stair stepper for six. We do the seven across. We do 
that seven, and then my favorite H pattern starts on the 54. Come on, baby, hit it. And a little bit back each time, we're still up. It started with $150 in value. We've hit several jackpots, we've played for a long time, and now we're trying to take home the big jackpot. Hit something large, maybe a hand pay, maybe something that uh, makes a car payment, a house payment. We may walk out of here breaking even, but we've had a lot of fun. When I say walk out of here, I mean whatever casino you're playing at. We're playing with the home game king right now for demonstration purposes. still, but we're going to hit something. Go, baby, go. No. Again, making uh, point totals on our player's card if we have a player's card in. We're getting money back. We're having fun. We're learning. We'll end each one of these uh, learning videos with a crazy betting patterns like this. Just because... 10, there's all kinds of stuff I see going on over in the rest of the game, but I need to focus on this. There we go, all the A's. Dude, two more. Oh, pick the wrong stairs. safety bet of a four card. We're going to do an eight. We're going to do six over here. Which one haven't I played yet? There we go. And we're going to do seven down. $50 start, we're going to make a 20% profit by not dropping below $180. So we made $30 on our 150 initial stake. But if we get lucky and hit something else along the way, then we'll change that rule and take more home. Keep going, baby. Hit them all. So we still have 10 games at a dollar each at this point. If it keeps filling it up, that'd be great. Oh, there we go. Five of eight for 12, one of, or two of four for two, and then three of seven for one. So now we're up to uh, almost 12 games remaining. There's one of those four patterns. Oh yeah, lots of numbers, go baby. back it's like a free game they don't have bonus rounds or spins or oh, 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 oh my god oh my god That one number right there takes it from 390 coins to 7,000 quarters. Oh my goodness, that was beautiful. So we've almost doubled now. We've gone from 150 to 286, and a good keynote player is not gonna stop. They still gotta milk this cow. 
I'm not gonna drop below 250. So I'm gonna make a hundred dollar profit on this one. So I'm gonna change up the C because it's not gonna hit again. I'm gonna do a seven like that. Oh, that was fun. That was fun. I was watching over here the whole time. I thought we were gonna get the sixth spot. Thank you, machine. Oh man, get some blood back in my hand. Outstanding. <laughs> that was fun. A few more here on these patterns, and we'll change it up. Now keep in mind, we, uh, we're playing four numbers on four cards to build up some stake so that we can play crazy. And with our crazy play, we ended up hitting a pretty good jackpot there. Four of a kind, eight of a kind, seven of a kind, and six of a kind in play right now. I'm going to drop three more plays and I'm going to change the numbers. So I'm monitoring my stake, monitoring the play, looking for ways to maximize my gambling fun without risking too much. Playing with house money is my favorite way to do that. All right, we're going to change the numbers now to some subscriber numbers for Cash or Crash Kingdom and Slots. This is a 10 spot over a 10 spot. We've won with these numbers with the six and the six. So Ron and James, here we go. Got nine back for a four coin bet. This is a hybrid of two different pattern suggestions. This works great on the Cleopatra Kino because you can hit four numbers on the 10 spot and go into the bonus round and win even more money. For four card Kino, it's been good. We've hit seven of 10 a few times. You get the three of the six, so you get some money back. Just trying to bet enough to where you can keep money flowing in so you can keep playing you chase the big numbers. There's eight backs, so a double R bet. On that combination of the numbers hit. So the B's in play at four of 10. We need five of 10 on four card Kino. Four of 10 would have paid on the Cleopatra. There's five of 10 for five coins back. Do it again. Yeah, five of 10 again. about. Cash or Crash Kino and Slots. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, the like button, tell a friend. Also, All About Kino is the new channel. It's going to be All About Kino. There won't be slots. There won't be bird pictures. There won't be cooking demonstrations. It'll only be Kino. All About Kino. And maybe short videos, instructional videos, long videos. Uh, might be something where I just share two minutes of a game that it's just awesome because we hit a jackpot. Or it might be just a highlighted photograph of me with my thumbs up because I hit a hand peg. It's going to be all about Kino. We'll talk to some Kino players, get their feedback and instructions as well. Lots of numbers. Cleopatra Kino, that would have been great. We'll, we'll do some collaborations on all about Kino with other Kino players. There's a lot of great Kino players out there that do other things. It's JBTV does these uh, Golf Clash and Kino. So we would feature the Kino portion on All About Kino. The Cash or Crash Kino slots, of course, the main channel launching all of this. Appreciate y'all watching and being a part of that, making it a success. At 1,150 subscribers right now, which is really cool. Got 11 more games, unless we hit something. So now we have 13 more games. change these numbers up. You have the five backwards here. You have the, we're going to do six of seven of Janice's numbers. We Ron B's nine spot. And I'm going to go back to my H pattern over here. There we go. All over the board now. Not really stacking on top of each other, but let's see what happens. Still have ten plays to go unless we win something. 
On this one, the five of the five will pay two hundred dollars or eight hundred and four quarters. The six pays fifteen hundred quarters. The seven pay. Oh, we just did it. We just did it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, okay, I think I'm actually going to go to the casino now. Holy cow. Holy cow. Look at that. Up to $460, so we're up $310. And the gambler in me says, go crazy, take the money, go bet big and whatever. But the realist is, I'm probably coming to the end of a really good run here on a heater. I'm only going to drop $10 more, but we're going to do it differently because I want to keep playing. I don't want to go home yet. I'm having way too much fun. So we do a five spot. We do a five spot over here. We do a sixer. Oop, that's a seven. And then I'm going to do a eight down on the bottom here. Let's see what that does for us. Come on, baby, hit him. <laughs> now that's where you get greedy and you don't want to go crazy, but you want to hit more and keep playing. So we got a five, a five, a six, and a seven. If I was really playing for money, I'd probably have a four out there instead of two fives, just so I can make some more money. But what we're doing it for the demonstration purposes here is showing you how much fun it is to win, to be up, playing with house money. Couple back. And we can't force it to pay us. We can't force it to win. We can only try to win based upon our strategies. And right now it's taking money back. Still got a few games to play. I may adjust my bottom. I may go down to 440 because I'm still having fun. But I'm going to walk out with money. Keep going. So it's hitting numbers. I can keep playing. In my heart and in my mind, I know the machine is done paying. There's no more money in there. But I can't stop. So I have 10 more games in me. We're going to count them down. There's one. No matter what it is, we're playing 10 games. If we win all of it, we're still playing just 10 games. Here's the second one. Keep track at home. That was number three. Oh, baby, hit it. Oh. This is halfway through our final 10 games. <laughs> Number seven. And the H there. This is the eighth one. Ninth. And tenth. Okay, Cash or Crash Kino Slots, Kino instructional video. This was how to play four card Kino, four numbers. And then if you win, go crazy and have fun. We saw a six of seven. We've seen a five of five, many four of fours. Use this video as an instructional video. Your gaming experience may be different. The casino you go to will have different pay patterns. Check it out, do some more studying. We have a lot more videos. The next one I'm gonna do is on the five of five pattern. We did see it win here with the backwards numbers that we have. That was a, a subscriber suggestion. Uh, so tune into all our videos, lots of Kino videos different patterns, different plays. Some are smart, some are stupid, some are whacked out, some are very scientific, but we're here for entertainment and for fun and to help you play Kino and hopefully you love Kino as much as we do. I'm all about Kino, Cash or Crash Kino and Slots. Thanks for tuning in and we will see you next time.